Good morning, everyone. I'm Meredith. I'm one of uh, the few marketers in the room who are actually lucky enough to be based here in Utah. I know there's a handful of us. Um, for those of you who don't know Distillery, we are a custom audience solutions company. We use AI to do behavioral targeting, and uh, most recently, we're using behavioral targeting um, that is ID-free, so without any reliance on third-party cookies. What I want to talk to you a little bit about this morning is really this shift in our targeting strategy and how marketers and brands are leaning into this, um, and how that really has driven for us a ton of innovation, specifically in the search space around custom search lookalikes. I want to take you through a case study of uh, one of our more innovative agencies who actually is leaning into this technology. Um, and then lastly, if we have any questions, answer those for you. Um, so behavioral targeting in the past has worked so, so well because we know so much about that individual. We have so many different data points that we can look at and, um, and use for our targeting. But in the future, as we transition, and we've heard this morning, into a year uh, unlike any we've ever seen in digital advertising, in 2024, there's going to be a sharp transition. And really what we have to address at face value as marketers is what do we do from a targeting perspective if this is all we know, if we truly have no information from a targeting perspective about that person or that individual. So that really brings us to a paradigm shift that we are uh, facing at Distillery. And the way that we're thinking about our ID-free targeting is unlike any targeting we've ever seen before. So really, rather than focusing on that specific bucket of things, whether it be cookies, maids, that specific person, we really want to shift our focus to what's happening in that specific moment. So without, any, without knowing anything about that person, really what we're faced with at that specific moment, that piece of inventory, how do we make that right decision on whether or not that piece of inventory is the right fit for our brand? So our ID-free custom AI is a custom bidding algorithm. It's built without knowing anything about that specific person, and it's really focused on three key things. It's website, it's time of day, and it's geolocation. So on that specific impression, how likely is a person to be interested in your brand? Just to click through so we can see a little bit more here. And how does this actually all work? So the AI is built on what we call a map of the internet. So it's a foundational understanding of digital website journeys and how different websites correlate to each other in the wild. So not what that specific content is on that page, but how where a user has been before and how where that user is going is going to predict where they're going next. And using AI, we know so much about such a little piece of in inventory and information. And before all of the chat GPT noise started to come into the picture, we got a lot of questions about how does this all work and how do we actually know so much? So the AI and the machine is actually training to understand and learn those correlations of digital journeys so that when you actually go to, to bid, you understand and we create a score for every single impression. How valuable is this specific moment to my brand. So what we're looking at here is actually the map of the internet. Let me click back here. So it's a 128 dimensional neural network map that we've created. We smashed it down for your display here. What we're looking at here for these dots are websites across the entire internet. And nearby websites are, visit are visited or correlated uh, with similar intent. So we can actually double click in here to see how the model would create for you those outputs. So these are the highest intent for brand interests based on those three things, website, time of day, and geolocation. So where we're seeing brands really lean into this is those who are ready and starting to test today, because currently, without any of the change that's coming in 2024, about 50% of the current impressions today are users who don't want to be identified. Either it's websites where cookies are no longer trafficked, it's users who are raising their hand and saying, I don't want to be trafficked. And even as we move into a year of 2024 where there are new identifiers coming into the fold, there are a lot of new tactics and targeting that we're all starting to hear buzz up, there's still going to be a very large portion of addressable inventory where we don't know anything about that person. And that's where ID Free is being really, really valuable. So that we started with the intent of this of being privacy first and privacy safe. 
but ID Free has actually driven us to a lot more innovation than we initially anticipated. And it's really allowed us at Distillery and allowed some of our early partners to rethink what targeting means for them. So I'm gonna take you through a quick case study um, and two key takeaways here for how we're starting to rethink this targeting. The first is that your targeting tactics don't have to be binary. You can start to shift the way that you have thought about reaching that specific consumer. And the second is you really don't have to constrain yourself to those existing or available IDs. So in the past, the way that we have thought about brand interests has been linear. You have those consumers who are super, super passionate, you know who are super interested in your brand. Those are going to be the more costly impressions historically, those higher, um, higher to reach people. Those who may be less interested are still really valuable and we can start to think about providing not only the value of that impression, but the affordability of it. So not only telling you, yes, you should bid on this piece of inventory, but here's exactly what you should pay for it using bid factoring. So Tombras is, I'm just gonna click through this in the interest of time. Tombras is one of the a forward thinking independent agency that came to us with this challenge. They wanted to be one of the first agencies to be activating their campaigns entirely without any reliance on third-party cookies or without any reliance on third-party identifiers. And what we found through this is we tested a couple of different tactics. We tested our ID-free custom AI compared to distilleries uh, historically cookie-based audiences, which are our version of lookalikes custom AI. And we evaluated this based on a CPA, so lower is better here. And really what we found by using ID-free is actually that we reduced the CPA by about 20%. So really finding for them valuable impressions that are more affordable and that are future-proofed and ready to activate today. Um, the second thing that we found is that we were also allowing Tombras to bid at the right price. So finding those people, but also ensuring that you're not overpaying for that specific inventory that you're interested in. Reaching those more interested consumers, but also bidding all the way across to ensure that you're reaching everyone who may be interested in converting for your brand based on your KPIs. And then the second thing, as I mentioned before, is currently about half of the internet uh, for display is not trackable via third party cookies. Those impressions are ready and available today and are still really valuable to your brand. Where measurement is currently, Tombras was using cookies as a proxy still for measurement, but there's still an opportunity to be reaching those consumers today using our ID-free modeling. So what we also found was um, ID-free has driven for us a ton of innovation. I'm just going to click through in the interest of time. So we have, we have used ID-free as a foundation for a ton of different innovation formats within distillery from uh, new media formats to measurement. But what we found really, really valuable, and just given uh, what so many marketers in this room work on, is search. So we've also used ID Free to build out custom search lookalikes. And we're finding tremendous value in this for brands uh, to do competitive conquesting. So using that same opt-in panel, we have the ability to um, leverage search data, so what consumers are searching for as a seed set to build out a custom lookalike for you. So, uh, this really has unlocked the tremendous power of what so many of your teams are working on, finding those terms that have historically performed really, really well, and using those across a different medium to actually go out and find new customers, conquest against your competitive uh, set, and really easily layer those into your campaigns. So as we all know, so, so much of the budget in digital marketing is currently going to search marketing, nearly a third of the total revenue going to this format. But historically, for the most part, that has never been used as seeding out an audience to be able to go out and find net new people existing like that in a privacy-friendly way. So our custom search lookalikes are built from that opt-in panel of about 2 million users. They're tuned specifically for your brand intent. So based on that search data and based on what your KPIs are, we're going to create a bespoke and unique model for you solely to be able to go out uh, and activate in your campaigns. And it's super, super easy to do so. So we can layer this into the DSP of your choice, the SSP of your choice, pretty seamlessly to be able to layer on these search lookalikes. And what we're finding is that they're working really, really well. So 
This is a case study for an education client that came to Distillery. They wanted to test privacy first solutions and they leveraged search for competitive uh, academic universities. And we were able to drive about 50% stronger performance against their benchmarks using these new audience tactics. Uh, any questions? Well, I have a question. You have a teammate here, I know yes. you do. I know her well. Patricia, right over there. Um, do you have more to give or, that is a great presentation. Do you have more to give? That's all I have to give. That's all you have to give. Well, that was awesome, by the way. Very good presentation. Uh, please, a round of applause for Meredith here.